Hi everyone, I'm Julia Ramachi from La Vida Healing. I am a master global energy method practitioner and today I wanted to do an example session of what I like to call manifestation um, perfection. And um, this is where we align someone's resonance to like an affirmation. Um, and I'm going to do an example on a client today. Um, my video is covering the client's information so you guys can't see that. Um, but today my client wanted to focus on um, the statement, I choose to move forward and accept happiness into my life and aligning their um, frequency to this statement. So what that means is that their subconscious mind fully believes this statement to be 100% true. A lot of times when we start to say affirmations and um things that we are trying to call into our life. Um, there are a lot of blocks and emotions and beliefs that we have to move through. And every time we are saying an affirmation, we are chipping away at a um, barrier to believing this to be true and then in resulting having this as a physical manifestation in our lives. So I hope that made sense. And um, today my... Um, client wanted to do the statement and then I tested this client is at 27% resonance with this statement. So that means his subconscious mind believes this to be 27% true and we are going to do a session to clear out anywhere so uh, this client can just use this statement it's a, to be a very powerful statement and get it to um, manifest right away. So I'm going to connect with this client's higher self through pure source consciousness. And um, now I'm going to ask, out of these three sections, uh, where do we need to start first? And we're going to start with the spiritual aspect. And that's going. Okay, and then it's taking me to blocks. And if you guys don't know, I am muscle testing using applied kinesiology to get these answers. Um, and so then I'm asking, it's taking me to an abundance wall, which is essentially a wall that is blocking us. It could block us from anything, an abundance of wealth, love, friendship, health, like anything. So this abundance wall is absorbed, okay? And so absorbed mean it wasn't originally my clients. It, he absorbed it from a, another person or another energy. So I'm going to ask, what age did this client get this five, six? This was seven years old. And I'm going to ask, was this from a mother? This was from his father. Okay. And then, so we're going to go to the next level underneath that and say, why was this absorbed abundance wall able to stay in place? What was holding it up? And like, we're going layer by layer. So we're going to memories. We're going to go to association memory. This is where we associate two things together. And a lot of times... Uh, this can be like, for an example, people associate sugar with happiness. So if you're feeling depressed and that's why you, you crave sugar is because you want to feel happy. It's that, it's that type of thing. So this client's association memory, five, six, age seven again. Um, and this was an association between, um, and I'm just going to use my intuition to get the information. This is between love, between love and fear. Um, so this is where, this is a common thing because a lot of times people do associate love with fear. If I'm feeling fear, this is love. And that's, you know, uh, just a confusion. So we're going to ask this client's higher self to please release this. We've identified it. That's all we need to do. Now we release it. And I'm testing, it's 100% gone. So we're going to continue. We're going to go to caused by back to image energies. Uh, this is where images can literally get stuck in the subconscious mind. We're going to influencing. 
This is where an external factor is purposely trying to influence behavior, beliefs. Um, so this was at seven, eight years old. Uh, this was from a client, this, this client's brother. Okay. And just intuitively, I can get more information. Um, I feel like this, uh, the brother was trying to influence the client that they were less than, um, and can we continue and ask the client's higher self to please release this image, this influencing image that is impacting their ability to believe that they are able to move forward and accept happiness into their life. And that is at a 10. Okay. And I'm going to continue. I'm going to go back to caused by external energies, which are energies that we push so far out in our aura um, that we don't even know it's there. And specifically stagnant ones are just, it means it's just really heavy. It's really sticky, I like to say. Uh, six, seven, this was also age eight. And so we're going to ask, what was this stagnant energy? It's fear. Okay. Um, and so we're going to ask the clients, hi yourself, please release this fear. Good. And then we are going to replace it with the opposite, which is confidence. So we ask the higher self, please replace this comp with the energy with confidence. Very good. Okay, going back to caused by going to back to images and back to influencing images. So something externally is trying to influence this client. Nines was around 10 years old. And we're, we could say, was this from the client's mother? This was from the father. Intuitively, I'm getting the father was trying to um, make it known that it make the child believe that the father was powerful. Um, yeah, so ask the, we're asking the client's higher self to please release that. Very good. And we're going to go back. We're going to release one more back to image. Egotistical image. Um, this is where we can get an image that is, that's not a hundred percent truth. It has an ego twist to it. So, um, meaning that there is some sort of, like we view ourselves having maybe some power that we, there really isn't there. I hope that makes sense, but this is five, six, seven, eight, around eight years old for the client. Okay. And we ask the client to release this. And that is done. Okay, so now I'm going to, this is the first part of a global energy method session is when we clear out. The second part is positive repatterning where we go in and we further um, create positive change from already what we've done. So um, now I'm gonna retest. At the beginning of the session, the client believed this statement to be uh, to be 27% true. Um, and I'm just going to put that here. And I'm going to say at the end, we're going to ask now, what does the client believe this statement to be true now? 73% true. So we're going to ask, how long does this client need to process? Two days. Okay. Um, and now we're going to do the positive repatterning part. We're going to go to reinforcements which are energies that are the reinforcement is the client already has this energy and we just want to reinforce it to a hundred percent. So we're going to do increased self-esteem. The person already has self-esteem. We just want to intensify it to a hundred percent. Good. We're going to do increased self or sense of belonging. The client already has this at some degree, whether it is very little or a lot, but we're going to in increase it to 100%. Very good. We are going to go to increase healthy 
release of tension each night. Good, increased sense of balance. And I'm just testing to make sure it's at a 10. Uh, increased physical energy. And increased healthy melatonin balance. Okay, good. Uh, now I'm going to go to awakenings. This is awakening the subconscious mind to be able to perceive and expand to greater. We're going to awaken spiritual guided dreaming. You can do a lot of work in your dreams at night uh, if you are guided. And awaken ability to reach inner information. Good. Okay, and then I'm just going to put in the summary down here that the client would benefit from another session. Um, they could have another session within three days or after three days. And yeah, so this is how a session works. Um, this is how we do based on an affirmation. Um, so if anybody would like to schedule a session like this, I will leave a link down below. Um, we could do a global energy method session on any kind of issue. We're working with your higher self, with your subconscious mind to get the answers. I am personally not healing you. Uh, you are healing yourself. I'm just a facilitator. So if you guys have any questions about how this works, or if you would like to book a session, please reach out. I am so grateful that that if you watch to this point and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys all soon.